Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna try Get Ready With Me's new product, All About That Base Powder Rush. So yesterday I got a PR kit from Get Ready With Me. May pinadala mo rin ba to? Joke lang. This is my cat Simba. And obviously he's feeling very comfortable in the Get Ready With Me box. I'm just gonna show you the products I got. So I got three. I already took them out of the box, by the way. So it's just a box. It says Get Ready With Me. It tells you more about the powder at the back. It's a long wearing setting powder that has a velvet texture. It also gives a skin blurring effect. And it contains ingredients that can help with oil control. The Get Ready With Me Cosmetics Velvet Setting Powder blends seamlessly to the skin with light to medium buildable coverage. It can be used alone or as a setting powder over foundation. I'm just filming the intro today, but I already filmed a wear test yesterday as soon as I got it. I was super excited to try this, of course. And so yesterday I did a wear test and then earlier today, naman, this morning I tried it without any base, so watch out for that. This powder is great for normal, dry, oily, and combination skin. So basically, all types of skin. Babagay do tong powder na to. And it contains the skin-loving products. This is animal test-free and vegan. And you have 24 months to use this up the moment you open your product. Okay. So now, I've already put everything I have on my face. I have moisturizer, I have sunscreen, I have skin tint and a bit of concealer. I've also put some blush. Let's try the powder on my face. I've decided that I'm gonna go for maple. Maple is a medium golden with warm undertone. And it may look like it's dark on the pan. Medyo mukha siyang dark sa pan, pero when I put this on my skin, it's the perfect shade. Nutmeg, on the other hand, is a medium beige with neutral undertone. Hindi ako neutral, I'm always warm, but I'm gonna show you this anyway. This is nutmeg. And then we have biscuit. Biscuit is a medium beige with cool undertone. Alright, so let's get on with maple. I'm gonna zoom you in so we can see the effects of powder rush. Super lapit natin sa face ko. As you can see, there is shine because I haven't set my face yet. I'm gonna use the soft velvet puff to apply powder rush on this side of my face. Oi, grabe. Instant mattifying action. Do you see the difference? This is shiny, this is very matte. Nawala agad yung shine sa kabilang face ko. Isn't that amazing? I find that amazing. Okay, I still have a bit of shine on my forehead. Let's remove that. Grabe! Wow! If you have oily skin, this might be your new favorite. This could be your new favorite. Like you have to give it a try. But it doesn't look like matte na my skin is dry matte. But just the right kind of matte na hindi ako mukhang oily, you know? I look like I'm put together. I look like I'm fresh. Look at that! Look! <laughs> it also adds coverage. Eh? So even if I already have concealer on this side, like, you know, you still see some some color, you know, some some color over there. I hindi kasi din ako fan ng madaming madaming base products. Like, okay lang sa akin my eye bags. Actually, if you've been on my channel long enough, you'd know that I'm not a fan of concealers. I don't really use concealers a lot because I feel like eye bags add drama to your eyes. But, you know, lately it works been a lot. So, <laughs> nagko concealer na ako kasi puyat ako. I'm going to try to use a brush. When you use a puff or a sponge, it makes everything more compact. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and just put that over here. Oh, ang ganda. Like, it's so sweet. Lang. Like, just a sweep of powder is also really good because I want to keep this area kind of dewy, kasi, kind of oily and shiny. I like it like that. Yung ng sobrang wala nang shine because I feel like nababawasan yung dimension ng face. 
So I think for me it helps to like still keep a bit of shine on your face. Kaya nga tayo may highlight, di ba? Anyway, okay, see that shine? See that shine? Let's remove that. Oh, wala na. <laughs> no more shine. Goodbye. What do you think? I think nawawala na yung lighting ko kasi nasa harap ako ng mirror right now. So I just finished my base. I've already put um, blush and a bit of contour, a bit of bronzer. Now let's try to get ready with me all about that base velvet setting powder. I'm, I've decided to go with maple. I think it's a bit dark but I feel like it's gonna match my skin. I'm gonna use the sponge that it came with. Whoa, I don't know what I am forceful. I mean, right? on both sides. Oh my gosh, I am loving it. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin at all. Hindi siya mapigat. I mean, hello, it's powder, but the coverage. I'm so curious. I'm gonna try to use this powder without any kind of base makeup, but I'll probably try that tomorrow because I already have makeup on. So, okay, what time is it? It is currently, let's check the time. It's currently 3.14. Let's do a temp check about three hours from now. My skin is still looking good, I think. You tell me. I think it's still good. My face is not oily yet. Well, at least the parts where I put the powder. I'm um, powder lang ako under my eyes, a bit on my cheeks, on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. So far, it's looking good. Hello, it's 7.22 p.m. It's been a couple of hours since I put powder. What do you think of my face? Am I still fresh? <laughs> you mean it? Like, notice my under eyes, sides of my nose. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. I think I still look fine. I haven't retouched. I haven't used an oil control film. Voila. As in, just the powder. Hello, it's already past 12 a.m. We just got home because we visited um, our cat, a vet. And this is how my face looks. No retouch, no oil control films. And you can see there's a bit of oil buildup now on my cheeks, which is normal. This is actually pretty good. Like, re not even pretty good, really good. Let me get an oil control film. This is actually a blotting paper. But I would see anyway if my face was super oily because it's a bit see through the paper. So on my forehead, yes. Some on my, a little bit on my brows. And that's the whole day of not putting any powder, not using blot, blotting paper the whole day. That's pretty good. This is usually, like on a normal day, this is usually just about two hours after putting powder on, on my whole face. So, para sa ganito, the whole day, I'm sold. I just finished bathing and gusto ko i try yung maple on my skin without anything on my skin. Obviously, wala pa akong kahit ng makeup. And sorry, sobrang lakas ng ulan. I just couldn't find a better time to film. I think it's gonna be raining the whole day, so. I'm here. I'm gonna do it. So this is my bare skin. I have this coloration on my eye bags. I also have very visible veins. And there are some rashes over here. I don't know why my skin is acting up right now, but I think it's the perfect time to see the coverage of Get Ready With Me's powder. I'm gonna use the powder. Grab the pickup of product right here. Okay, so let's try it on one side. Yeah, and so I, I don't have anything on my face. I didn't even put moisturizer, nothing, no sunscreen. It's just seriously bare. 
nothing but the powder. I'm gonna add one more just under the eyes. Kasi meron naman sa atin na hindi mahilig maglagay ng kahit anong base before the powder, right? Um, syempre, andyan pa rin yung discoloration under my eye, but it's way better as compared to this side. Definitely not full coverage pag wala kang kahit anong base, but it does help you know, it does help remove a little bit of discoloration. Medyo tinry niyang even out yung skin tone ko. If you need a little bit of help, pero ayaw mo ng maraming cream products, I think Get Ready With Me's powder also works without any kind of base. But of course, kung gusto mo ng coverage, mag-base ka muna bago ka mag-powder. Let's do a quick recap. This is Get Ready With Me's Powder Rush Velvet Setting Powder. This retails for 549 pesos and you get 10 grams of powder. Compact powder siya. Meron kang soft velvet puff. And you also get a mirror. I'm sorry, I don't think I showed you that. But when it's new, meron siyang clear film. Of course, you have to remove it. And mirror quality is awesome. I love that about this powder. And this is where you have the product. Meron ka compartment for the velvet puff if you don't want to use it na. Aesthetically, looking at it, it's so pretty. But um, practically speaking, I feel like it's a bit bulky. I feel like I don't need that much space for a puff, a mirror, and the product. Pero, like, you know, did I die? No. Okay, so yeah, the packaging is good. You've already seen the wear test. It performs really well on skin with makeup, on skin with base. It also performs fairly well on bare skin. Also, these products have skin-loving ingredients like squalane, kaolin, and calamine. So you're not only really just wearing powder, you're also putting ingredients on your skin na nakakabuti ng skin. Would I recommend this? Of course. I mean, look at my face. <laughs> no, seriously, look at my skin. Para siyang airbrush. I feel like it does a good job in hiding my pores, which is true to what it claims na it's blurring. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you get to decide which shade you're gonna use. Again, there are eight shades and I only showed you three. So if I were you, go ahead and check out Get Ready With Me Cosmetics and see what shade you're supposed to get. If you guys have any requests, leave them in my comments below. Thank you for watching. You guys stay safe and stay weird.